Welcome to Defense Dollars. We have a few headlines from the Euro Satori Conference last week in Paris. Combining manned and unmanned assets will open a, quote, new field of capabilities for France's next-generation helicopter programs. That's according to a senior French military official at the show. A general engineer for armaments second class at the French procurement office told Defense News that as the nation's army goes ahead to field three new rotary wing platforms by 2025, the ability to partner those systems with autonomous and semi-autonomous technology will be a game changer. He added that those three programs to develop the H-160M Japart Joint Light Utility Helicopter, to perform midlife upgrades on the NH-90 Cayman multi-role aircraft, and to launch the Tiger Mark III upgraded attack helicopter will be the first time the French Army has multi-capabilities on helicopters. A colonel who sits on the French Army staff said that the manned-unmanned teaming capability fits squarely into the Army's Scorpion program, a broad modernization plan to field new capabilities by 2040. Polish Armaments Group has signed a Memorandum of Understanding at Euro Satori with South Korean firm Hyundai Rotom to develop and manufacture the K2 PL tank for Poland's military. Amid Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine, Poland is accelerating efforts to acquire South Korean defense equipment. It is looking to take advantage of the Asian nation's mass production capacity and lenient policy toward technology transfers. The NATO member shares a border with Ukraine, as well as the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. Government and industry sources told Defense News that Poland also has talks with Hyundai Rotom to buy hundreds of K2 Black Panther tanks for its army. Polish Defense Minister Marius Blazak discussed during a June 13th meeting with military leadership his weapons wish list, which includes Korean main battle tanks, self-propelled guns, and infantry fighting vehicles. The ministry had visited the Asian nation in late May to discuss the supply of South Korean combat vehicles and fighter jets. Germany's Rheinmetall unveiled its Panther main battle tank at the Euro Satori exhibition, adding a new angle to the discussion about a next generation tank for Europe. The Panther is the product of the company's own years-long development, a risk that appears to have previously paid off with its lighter brother, the Lynx Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Lynx has become a serious contender in acquisition races worldwide. Weighing in at 59 tons, the fully digitized Panther features a 130mm cannon, compared with a 120mm weapon on the Leopard 2, which has been the German Army's go-to tank since the 1980s. The company says the larger, heavier projectiles would deliver over 50% greater effectiveness at significantly longer ranges. It also features the ability to launch drones and loitering munitions. Israel's Defense Ministry announced that in 2023, it will begin testing an unmanned combat vehicle armed with a 30mm autonomous turret. The unveiling of the medium robotic combat vehicle comes in the wake of Israel announcing it is acquiring the Najiva combat vehicle for its special forces from Israel Aerospace Industries. France's military procurement office has qualified the medical evacuation version of its new Griffin multi-role armored vehicle. That announcement was made at the Euro Satori conference by its industry partner Nexter. While VBMR Griffin vehicles have been rolling off the production line since 2019, the first Griffin SAN, indicating sanitary, will be delivered in 2023. Nexter, Arcus, and Talis are co-billing the Griffins for the French Army. The SAN variant will support the recovery and evacuation of injured personnel on the battlefields. And now let's take a look at Asia. China has launched its third and largest aircraft carrier to date at a shipyard in Shanghai, the first of its type there to feature a catapult aircraft launch system. The ship, which was indigenously designed and built, was christened as the Fujian, named after the Chinese province opposite Taiwan. That's according to state-run news agency Xinhua. 
It was launched last Friday at the Shanghai shipyard, where it had undergone construction since 2018. A satellite photo taken June 15th of the dry dock at Shanghai's Sangsing Island and provided to Defense News by Planet Labs showed the narrow basin had already been flooded, indicating the launch was imminent. The Fujian, which previously was known as the Type 003, has a flight deck that measures a little more than 1,000 feet long. The dimensions are roughly the same as the U.S. Navy's Kitty Hawk class carriers. The installation of three catapults on its flight deck would allow the new ship to launch heavier aircraft, such as the Xi'an KJ-600 turboprop airborne early warning aircraft, which is currently undergoing flight tests.